whether it's your phone, TV, or being out in the general public. It's hard to escape hearing about the coronavirus. A lot of people are struggling with anxiety right now, and for good reason. Dr. Lauren Edwards says anxiety can sometimes be helpful in a public health scare because it can motivate you to keep yourself safe, but that can also be a thin line. The problem occurs when anxiety starts to lead you to feel more overwhelmed, fearful, or helpless. Hearing about the number of cases and those in quarantine can cause concern for some, leading to feeling tense, trouble sleeping, or making you afraid to go outside. If anxiety is getting in the way of you going about your day-to-day -day routine right now, I think it's time to start thinking about ways to manage it a little bit better. While many continue to stay inside as a result of the coronavirus, medical experts continue to say that stepping outside and getting some fresh air opens the door to treating things like anxiety or depression that can be a result of staying inside for too long. Right now, there's no recommendations that you don't get out and you know live your everyday life. And I think that we just need to trust our, our public health health officials to guide us. Helping decrease anxiety also comes in the form of practicing healthy habits, like good hand washing, among others. Make sure you're getting good quality sleep, eat healthy, and exercising regularly can actually um, help not only just with physical health, but with those physical manifestations of anxiety. If you're looking up info on the disease, always check credible sources like the CDC and limit that consumption if you feel it's negatively impacting your anxiety. Make sure that you're not letting fear guide your actions. You need to maybe check in with your mental health provider and just follow the recommendations of the authorities. In Omaha, John Madden, 3 News Now. There are multiple resources you can call if you need help with any mental health concerns. For a list of those, visit our website, 3newsnow.com.